Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering question number two from the October 2021 um, CIE Cambridge um, International GCSE IGCSE paper, paper four, variant two. Um, and this question here is about um, statistics, the first part about cumulative frequency. And there is a cumulative frequency diagram shown uh, which gives information about the floor area A in meter squared of each of 80 houses. Okay, so we've got to use the diagram to find the estimates of the median, the lower quartile, the interquartile range, and the number of houses with the floor area greater than 120 meters squared. So what I'm going to do here so I can see, um, I'll show everything properly, I'm going to just zoom out a little bit so it fits on my screen the whole graph so we got to find the an estimate of the median now the median is basically the middle value it's like an average which is the middle value when when everything is placed in order of size and to find the the median or estimate the median using a cumulative frequency curve you basically look at the y-axis see how far it goes make sure that the curve goes up to that point sometimes they do trick you they might make the, the y-axis up to 80 but the, the, the highest value on the curve is, say, 70. So please watch out for this here. There's no problem. That's 80. And the curve goes up to 80. The middle value, you want to find what's exactly in the middle. So you want to find, you do 80 divided by 2, that gives you 40. You're looking for the 40th term. Okay, so normally if it was discrete data, we would say, okay, we're looking for, the, there's an even number of entries that means there are two two middle entries because if there's an even number of entries, there will be two numbers in the middle. So we look at the average of the middle two. But here we are estimating. So there's no problem. When you have a cumulative frequency curve, you just basically take the highest number divided by two, and you know that tells you the position now of the middle value. So the position of the middle the middle term is the 40th position. Now that doesn't tell us what it is. It tells us where it is. So now we have to look to see what it is. So we go to the cumulative frequency curve and we draw a line from 40 along to see until it hits the curve. And what I'll do now is I'll just zoom in a bit so that I can see this more clearly. Okay. And this will help us to find it more accurately. So here you can see it's exactly 90. It seems exactly to be 90 here if you draw that properly. Okay, exactly 90. So the floor area of the middle, the house in the middle of all the data, the order of size is 90 meters squared. So the median value is 90 meters squared. And now we've got to find the lower quartile. Now the lower quartile is basically when you take the number of entries, which is 80, and you multiply them by a quarter. So it's a quarter times 80. Okay, so I'll just put, I'll just put that over here. The median is 80 divided by 2 which is the 40th position. That's the position of the median. Okay, and the median has been is given this um, symbol Q2, middle quartile. The low quartile is given the symbol Q1, and it's basically a quarter of the way up. So there's um, a quarter of 80, which is 20. So it's the 20th position. So we've got to go to 20 on the cumulative frequency curve. And we've got to see where it hits the curve itself, and then see the value It's exactly here. All right, let's have a look. So that's that's 60, that's 70. So each of these is 0 0.2. 60, sorry, is it, each of these is 2. 62, 64, 66, 68. That looks like it's 68, exactly. Okay, so that's going to be 68 meters squared for the lower quartile. And the interquartile range is basically the upper quartile minus the lower quartile. So we've got to find what the, um, the upper quartile is. So I'm not going to put here equals, actually. This is... The, the, this is the position of it, so Q2 is equal to 90, and Q1 is equal to 20. Now Q3, to find it, we've got to go three quarters of the way up. So instead of putting equals, I put arrow meaning. This is not the, upper, the, the median, this is not the lower quartile. This is where it is. You've got to find what it is by going along <coughs> and seeing where it hits the curve. So for the upper quartile, you've got to find three quarters of 80, which is going to be 60. Okay, so you've got to go to the 60th position. So Q3 will equal, so you're going to go up to 60 and see where it hits the curve. It's exactly, it's again, again, it looks like it's exactly at this point here. 
So I'll take this and put it down. See where it leads us down to? It leads us down to 120. That's exactly 120, it seems. Okay, so that's 120. That's the upper quartile. So we're going to have Q3 is equal to 120. Therefore, the interquartile range is equal to Q3, which is 120, minus the low quartile, which is 68. <clears throat> that seems like it's 52. 120 minus 58. Minus 68, sorry. Which gives us 52. So the interquartile range is 52 meters squared. And then part 4 says the number of houses with a floor area greater than 120 meters squared. So now we've got to go to 120 meters squared, which is what we just found. That's basically, um, you know, gives us the 60th house in order of size is going to have an area of 120 meters squared. So the number of houses which have a floor area greater than 120 are going to be the ones that are more than 60. So it's, it's, it's the ones on the higher end. Okay, so it's these. So it's going to be basically... All of these ones here have a floor area greater than 120. All the ones below this have an area less than 180. So we don't say 60, we say 20. It's these 20 houses. 60 is the ones that have that area or less. We want to have to find the number that have that area and more, okay, which is the last 20 houses. So it's between 60 and 80. So the number here we write down is 20. So there's the answer for part four. Okay, so that's all about cumulative frequency. And the next part of the question is our histogram. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in one um, in one um, uh, playlist. So I'll stop the video here. And part B of the question, I'll put it under histograms. So I can split up my statistics chapter according to different topics. So I'll um, put the next part of the question in another video. Um, and you'll see a link to that other video for part B. Um, on the top of the page here okay so when you um, the end of this video if you click on the top link here it will take you to the next part of question two you'll see other questions from the other the rest of the paper on this playlist that should appear under that and questions to do with cumulative frequency you can find in the playlist that should appear in this area and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link that you should find here in the middle at the end of the video thank you for watching and see you soon